एक साइक्लिस्ट है He is moving through a busy street. Does he have uniform velocity? Well, no. Even though he is travelling in the same direction, the distance he travels in equal interval of time is varying continuously. His direction could also change if he had to maneuver through obstacles. So, in such a case, we say. that the cyclist has an accelerated motion the rate of change of velocity of a body is called acceleration acceleration has both magnitude and direction and that is why it is a vector quantity now let's say the cyclist saw an open space he starts paddling fast and increases his speed so if the velocity of a body is increasing with respect to time it is said to have positive acceleration now let us say the cyclist saw some traffic ahead he slowly start applying brakes so if the velocity of a body is decreasing with respect to time it is said to have negative acceleration it is also known as deceleration or even retardation since acceleration is the rate of change of velocity it can be calculated as change in velocity divided by time now we know that velocity is equal to displacement by time putting this in a acceleration formula we get acceleration is equal to displacement by time into 1 by time now displacement is nothing but measured in length and length is meters so what have we learned today we have learned what is acceleration how to calculate acceleration and also what is positive and negative acceleration so until next time happy learning